rain falls upon the Easter tree. The squirrel shakes his head and he shivers in his reddened sodden fur. The wind and rain has flattened out his ears and made his streaming eyes to close. The smell of death is heavy in his nose. The sun drays out the Easter tree. The rabbit looks around, sees a shadow on the ground and runs for home. The blackbird's found a strange and novel place to show this challenge to the day. The hair beneath his feet is turning grey. A man hangs from the Easter tree. His fate has been secured, for strong nails have quelled his hopes from climbing down. His jaws are locked in agony, all open for the flies to come and go. His eyes are in the belly of the crow. A dog sits by the Easter tree, beneath the naked eve, for his master or his meal is sure to fall. When the rope is broken by the wind, and the rusty nails release its wizen load, then the dog, well fed, continues down the road. Bones alive beneath the Easter tree, the skull now filled with sand, could never understand the reason why. The thread of life was broken by a hand that never cared to know his name. He played and lost in someone else's game. The leaves upon the Easter tree are red with human blood since justice chose the wood to make a sword. When a man was hanged on a Tyburn tree or crucified along the road to Rome, then his blood and tears have stained the face of stone.